Dear children, let's learn today the new chapter that is exercise B from page 75 mixed word problems. In this exercise, you need to solve the problems on addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. You need to read the questions carefully and you should apply the method of solving the problem. So let's begin the class and solve the mixed word problems. In today's video, you have only the three word problems to solve. That is problem number one, two and three. The first question. A book has 72 pages. There are nine such books on a shelf. How many pages are there in all? So the solution is written. Number one, one book equals to 72 pages. Number two, books equal to nine. Therefore, total number of pages equal to how much? Let's do a solution box here. So, we know that one book has 72 pages like the nine books are there. So, what will be the total number of pages? The problem is you need to do multiplication. Let's write ones and tens. 72 multiplied by 9. Children, multiplication means repeated addition. So, when you want to add any number repeatedly, you should do the multiplication. So, here 72, 9 times with no need to add. Instead, you can use the method of multiplication to find the answer. 72 into 9. 9 2 is 18. Carry 1, write here 8. And tell the table of 9. 9 7 is 63. Write here and put a circle and plus symbol. Now 63 plus 1 gives you 64. And what answer did you get? Therefore, total number of pages equals to 648 pages. Coming to the second question. There were 565 pieces of chalk in a box. 388 pieces were used in one month. How many pieces of chalk were left? Solution. One box equal to 565 pieces. Second. Pieces used in one month equal to 388 pieces. Therefore, we should find pieces of chalk left. So, what do you need to do? There were 565 pieces and 388 pieces were used. So, the problem is to do the subtraction. So, let's write here once, tens, and hundreds place, let's write 565 minus 388. Let's solve 5 minus 8, it's not possible. Move to the tens place and here it is 5 and can bring borrow 1. So it is 15. 15 minus 8, children. It is 7. 5 minus 8 is not possible. Borrow 1. So, 15 minus 8 again it is 7. 4 minus 3 is 1. So, what is the answer of 10? Pieces of chalk left equal to 177 pieces of chalk were left. Go through these two word problems and understand clearly how to solve them. The first one is multiplication and the second one is you should find the answer by using the subtraction method.
you can see the third word, word problem. An aeroplane carried 130 passengers on the first day. 453 on the second day. And 255 on the third day. How many passengers travelled by plane on all three days? Did you understand children? What do you need to do here? So, which method you need to apply? Is it addition, subtraction, multiplication or division? Okay, let me read the solution for you. Passengers on the first day, 130. Passengers on the second day, 453. Passengers on the third day, 255. Therefore, passengers travelled on plane on all three days. You should find out all three days, what are the, how many passengers travel, the number of passengers travel. So, you can understand by reading the word problem that we need to apply the addition method here. Once again, let us try ones, tens and hundreds. And let's try the numbers here. That is 130, 453 and 255. So here we need to add, add the numbers. 5 plus 3, 8. Now let us add the tens place. 5 plus 5, 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. Carry 1, write here 3. 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus 1, 6. 6 plus 2, 8. What did you get? Passengers travelled. On all three days equals to how many? 838 passengers. So the total number of passengers you have to count is 838 passengers. Homework for today is to write these three word problems very neatly in your notebook one time.